Hey there YouTubers, right? This video, we're going to look at the results of me updating my BIOS for my Z490M motherboard. This is the Gigabyte Gaming X Z490M. So many of you may have bought this motherboard or similar Gigabyte motherboards that had an M.2 slot with a sticker on it reserved for future use. Okay, so basically that was going to be a Gen 4. They didn't really advertise it that well. And, uh, you know, of course you buy a Z590. It is definitely Gen 4 and works that way with an 11th Gen chip, right? So putting the 10th Gen chip in the Z590 or the Z490 is not going to allow you to use the Gen 4 M.2. Alright, so what happened along the way? Well, we uh, originally put in the 11th Gen chip into this motherboard when we had the older BIOS in it. And I could not get it to actually uh, boot up to a display. It did It did boot up, at least the computer turned on. Uh, but we did not actually see a display on it. So fast forward. Eventually after using this 11th gen chip and all my other, mother, other motherboards, I decided to put it back in this. After, um, of course, I put a 10th gen chip in there, an i3-10-320. We updated the BIOS and then voila this is what we have now so you can actually see it displayed uh, you can see over here on the left that we do indeed have an i5 11600k in here you can see over here that we have the motherboard and we have the bios here okay uh, if you care we have graphics card there's the been version of windows and we have windows xtu in here now uh, in a moment, we're going to turn on Crystal Mark, and that that's really uh, was the point of this whole video. But in case you care, where is it? In case you want to know what the uh, multipliers are for the i5 11600K, there they are. This has not been adjusted. Uh, everything's default in here, except for turbo boost is set to uh, unlimited so the only difference all right so let's go ahead and run the crystal get that going just so you guys can see this and I am using a secondary computer to record this So what do we have in here? We have some blazing hot speeds, right? This is not my EVO 980 Pro. I have the Western Digital Black Gen 4 in here, okay? Uh, which I found to be a much better deal. Maybe not as good a deal as the Sabrent Rocket that's Gen 4, but I believe 500 gigs, $99. Now, will all these turn out to be this good doubtful it's probably going to be just this first read score that's going to be ridiculously high yeah so i will be doing a video with more benchmarks on the cpu had somebody ask me to disable and enable uh turbo boost so we'll do a video with that we'll check the other benchmarks in a bench r20 we'll do the bench inside of the software uh, probably even turn a game on so they can see the difference in the temperature cpu temperature but other than that folks um it's probably about all we'll do maybe we'll do some gaming with this this is it's actually pretty nice to be able to put this 11th gen chip in a Z490 motherboard because I have not had to uh, you know would not have had to have upgraded to a Z590 motherboard now what are we losing with this I do not believe that uh, well the Graphics card is still PCIe 3.0 versus 4.0. So when you sit there and compare all the different motherboards, 
and how they react to Levinchia. And it's it is amazing uh, how different they all are. And of course, you know, the manufacturing aspect can wait in there too how they are. But all right there, that is a uh, you know, one of the highest read scores that I've I've seen here on the channel. We have had three or four Gen 4s come through the door. Um Yeah, I think four actually now that I think about it. Four of those, so I do not remember what the Samsung EVO 980 Pro came out at, but so we got a few more of these to go. Now I am curious. Um, you know, one one thing that is a little odd about this motherboard was not able to get DisplayPort to work using the i5 11600K in this Z490 motherboard so that actually kinda of scared me at first um, instead of removing the CPU or some of the other stuff I decided to put the graphics card in and then I got a display so some reason there's a little issue there with this motherboard. This is the only real hiccup along the way. And almost done. So if this was a true benchmark video, I would do this three times, but uh, you know, this is similar to the other time I ran it. So, hey, thanks for checking out my video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you see that, uh, you know, you might not really need to upgrade from the Z490 to the Z590 if you're going 11th gen. Just make sure to update that BIOS beforehand.